All right, guys, hailing from the East is your boy Dean the Beast here to talk about the recent releases by WWE. Obviously, WWE has cut some people off as of today, April 15th. Uh, ironically, the same day uh, as last year when WWE made some cuts. Uh, but the only big difference is uh, WWE made about like 20 or 30 cuts last year compared to this year so far. Um, but I highly doubt they'll make that many cuts. Um, I think the only reason for last year was because of the whole pandemic crisis, uh, which we're still going through today. Not as bad. Uh, obviously, as we saw WrestleMania uh, this past Saturday and Sunday, um, slowly going back to uh, a normal lifestyle, I guess you would say. Uh, still a work in progress, but as long as we're staying healthy, I'm sure we'll pull through. So, uh, just to go through the names of people who've been released, I don't have a list here. Uh, just going off the top, uh, if I missed anybody, uh, please let me know in the comment section. And, of course, let me know your thoughts on these recent releases. So, uh, first thing first, I think the big release here is uh, Samoa Joe. Um, I, I did see a funny meme where it was like, oh, Samoa Joe, um, you know... Samoa Joe went through a, a thunderstorm for you, and you still released him? It's like, hey, what are you going to do? Sometimes you make the sacrifices, and they just go unrecognized. Uh, but yeah, Samoa Joe kind of caught me off guard, but I kind of see a reason why, um, as he has been injury-prone, um, hasn't really been in the best of shape um, physically in regards to... Uh, you know, staying healthy and not getting injured. So I think WWE was kind of worried on that and basically just pulled the plug on him. Um, but I thought he was... I mean, I haven't been really watching WWE a lot. I mean, I haven't really watched WWE for like the past couple months with the exception of WrestleMania and like the pay-per-views. But um, I, I thought he was acceptable when it came to... Uh, his color commentating skills, um, but you could just tell that he missed the in-ring performing, so uh, I think WWE just gave him that option just to let him go, and uh, who knows, maybe he'll end up in Impact, and I'm not saying AEW, only because I, I feel like AEW is loaded right now, I, I think AEW should just be like, okay, you know, we're good, um, but you never know, but I'd love to see him go back down to Impact, uh, especially with, you know, a lot of recent acquisitions that Impact has made throughout the past couple of months, uh, especially with the releases of last year, um, some of the um, acquisitions that they acquired from last year from WWE's uh, uh, Black Wednesday uh, releases uh, with Kerr Hawkins and... Um, Doc Gallows, Carl Anderson, Deanna Perrazzo. Uh Speaking of Deanna Perrazzo, uh her best friend, Chelsea Green, has also been released. Uh, maybe he'll, she'll make her way back uh, back to Impact. Uh, I'd like to see a feud between her and Deanna, um, personally. And maybe we could see an on-screen um, storyline between her and Matt Cardona. Who knows? Uh, Bo Dallas... Uh, I know he's had a backup career for quite some time now when it came to, I believe it was real estating, uh, you know, becoming a real estate agent. So, um, obviously he's had his plan B in life, um, well orchestrated, uh, planned out. So, um, I mean, if he decides to come back to the ring, um, who knows? I, I think he'll be a WWE guy through and through. Um, just because of the working relationship, so, but we'll see, um, Tucker Knight, I'm not surprised, um, last time we seen him, uh, was basically during the storyline between Miz and Otis for the Money in the Bank briefcase, or, uh, the lunchbox that Otis was carrying around, and then he kind of took a step backwards when it came to in-ring gear, he kind of went from looking like a WWE superstar to pulling out his trunks from the independent days, you know, just looking at him like, well, not long now, but, 
you know, and he he just looked horrible when uh you know, he he just looked like a jobber when it came to him versus Otis. I believe it was on Monday Night Raw and that was practically the last time we see we see uh we saw Tucker. So I'm um, not surprised there. Uh Kalisto, great athlete, but I, I think his I think he ran his course um in WWE. I couldn't really see anything else they had planned for him. Um The Iconics. Uh surprisingly, both of them were released today. First it was announced that Billy Kay was released. Now, I'm pretty surprised with her, too, because, one, she did compete um, this past week at WrestleMania, and she's been involved in on-screen storylines when it comes to, uh, you know, giving the Divas uh, her resume on, you know, trying to search for a tag team partner, and we thought it was Carmella, you know, Carmella and Billy Kay were teaming up, Uh, they were part of that tag team turmoil match to see who would face the... Uh, women's tag team champions at night two at WrestleMania, and uh, yeah, you know I'm kind of surprised about that. That was practically a waste of uh, a storyline, but hey, whatever. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Oh, and, and Peyton Royce, which I think the last time she was involved, or the last time we actually saw her was uh when her and Lacey Evans were teaming up uh just shortly before Lacey Evans uh left uh due to her announcing her uh pregnancy. Um that might be it. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure there's somebody else, but oh Wesley Blake. Um yeah, Wesley Blake I mean, you released Steve Cutler about a month or two ago. Um, the only thing I can say about Wesley Blake is he was a gr- he was great. Um, I liked him. Uh, I definitely loved his run uh, back down in NXT when he was teaming up with Murphy and had Alexa Bliss as their valet. Um, I, I enjoyed that tag team, but I don't think anything was cutting for Wesley Blake, um, unfortunately. As great of an athlete as he is, I couldn't really see anything much else for uh, WWE to do with him. I mean, he was part of, um, he was kind of like a bodyguard with Cutler for uh, Baron Corbin uh, for a brief period of time, um, and nothing really ended up coming to good terms, I guess you would say, you know. Guys just been tossed around between tag team and singles competition for the past probably like six years now. So um, I think it was the right move. So hopefully he ends up in a better position. I'd like to actually see him go down to impact. Um, I think they could utilize him very, um, very carefully there. But we'll see. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know on your thoughts and your opinions on where these uh, certain individuals might go. Um, were some of these a good move or a bad move by WWE by releasing these guys? Uh, let me know in the comment section. And of course, uh, be sure to hit that like button. Leave your comments in the comment section. And subscribe, especially if you're going to be watching my videos and you're not subscribed. What are you doing? Um... You know, bear with me, guys. Uh, I'm trying to make uh, videos as, you know, fast and the best I can. Um, I know it's already been like a week now, so something fresh, you know. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, Dan the Beast 94 signing off.